Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to group automation envelopes in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with three tracks. I have a synth, a kick, and a clap. And it sounds like this. And I want to group them so they all move together. Now, typically in Reaper, we would group the tracks. Just select each of them, hit Shift G, which opens up our track grouping. We could hit All or pick specific parameters. Now these tracks are grouped. So I could automate them by right clicking and choosing an automation mode and just move the faders to right automation. But there's one problem with this. If I wanted to draw automation, hold the control on the PC, Command on the Mac and just draw it. It's not going to group with the other tracks. It's completely separate. So if you want to draw the automation, this method isn't going to work. And it's also a bit harder when working with alternative parameters. For example, volume prefix, pan prefix, or trim volume. Those parameters are harder to automate by moving faders or knobs. So you're most likely going to automate them by drawing, which again, isn't going to work by track grouping. So let's start over with a different method, but this time automating volume pre-effects. So we'll turn it on for each track. Now let's say we want to group these envelopes together. We can do that with automation items. So let's zoom out to the entire project. Let's go up here and turn on our grid and snapping. And we'll go down here into the lane, hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac. Our cursor changes so we can draw an automation item. Draw from the beginning to the end of our project. And we'll do the same for each track. But if we draw one right here, it's going to be separate from the first one. So they're not going to behave like a group, or as Reaper calls it, pooling. So if I draw in here, it doesn't affect this one, or vice versa. So instead, before we draw the second one, let's select the first one. Then we can draw it from the beginning to the end and make them the same length. So now they're grouped or pooled. So if I adjust this one, it affects this one or vice versa. Let's do the same for the third one. Make sure the first one or the second one is selected. Draw it in for the entire project. And now they're all pooled. So let's zoom in and draw some automation on the fly. Notice it affected all three tracks exactly the same. And we can still draw it in later. On this track, or this track, and they're all going to act the same way basically grouped or pooled. Let's do the same thing with the trim volume envelope. Once again, we'll go to the envelopes on each track, turn on trim volume for each of them. Zoom out, create an automation item for each from the beginning to the end. Make sure we select the first one, 
and draw each of them in. So now each one of them is going to behave like they're grouped or pooled. And we can tweak it as much as we like on any of the tracks. But let's say you wanted to do this with normal volume automation. We could do that as well, although we should change one preference. Let's go to our preferences. And if we scroll down under editing behavior to automation, there's an option over here when adding volume or pan envelopes, apply trim to envelope and reset trim. And that's turned on by default to be always. So what's gonna happen, if we look at the volume on our synth, it's set to minus seven dB. So if we create a volume envelope, it's gonna put that value on the envelope, minus seven. And then reset the fader to be zero. But if we're gonna pool our envelopes or get grouping behavior, we wanna turn that feature off. This way all the envelopes start at zero. So let's go back to our preferences and change it, at least temporarily, to never. And now if we open up this envelope for volume, the envelope is at zero, while the fader stays at minus seven. So let's open up the volume envelopes for each track. And we can do the same thing. Zoom out, create a volume envelope. Make sure we select the first one from the beginning to the end. Now we could do the same thing, either by drawing it or we could even write it while moving the faders. Just make sure we select each envelope first, then select each track, right click it, and choose the automation mode, which we'll is write. Then we can write the automation, and it's going to write it to all the tracks at the same time. But unlike before, we still have the option of drawing it in the envelopes as they're all gonna still have grouped or pooled behavior. So it's getting the best of both worlds. We could draw on our envelopes or even move our faders or knobs to create automation that's gonna group or pool on multiple tracks. So that's pretty much it. That's grouping automation envelopes in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.